What's up guys? I am Sarah Caney. Thank you so much for coming back for another scary video. That's right, we have done like four or five scary videos this week and it was so much fun. And it is in spirit of the Halloween season. So we're not done yet. There's gonna be a few more. <laughs> But before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to my little cousin, Taryn Ashley Barker. I just wanted to say hi. I just found out we're related and you watch my videos. So hello, thank you so much for being a fan. I hope you're having an awesome time at school and you're getting good grades and making a lot of friends. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I hope we can meet someday. But yeah, today we are doing another scary video. As I said, we are reacting to the most haunted places in the world. And there are a bunch of them, so if you love this video, we will definitely be doing a part two. But as always, be sure to subscribe and become a part of our Socially Awkward family and follow me on Instagram, links are down below. And be sure to comment below your favorite place you have ever traveled to, and if any of them were haunted. But yeah, get your stuffed animal and let's do this. Oh jeez. <laughs> Guys, I can't read. You know this, I'm not, I'm not all the way there, I didn't do good in school. But yeah, this is... I I'm gonna just guess. Hawa Basiu Forest in Romania. That's what we're calling it for now. From the moment a military technician captured a photograph of a UFO hovering over the forest in 1968, this forest has gained paranormal notoriety around the world, with some believing it to be a portal that causes visitors to disappear. Those who have passed through the forest without being zapped into another realm have reported rashes, nausea, and feelings of anxiety. Known as the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania, the spooky curved trees that populate the forest just add to the eerie atmosphere. Now that, that is a creepy forest. I would never go in there. Why, why do people have to investigate? I don't understand this. Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel in Canada. How do you say that? Banff? Is the N silent? Is it just Baff? I'm calling it Baff. Built in 1888 to encourage tourism and sell train tickets, this chateau style hotel sits pretty by the Rocky Mountains in Banff National Park. But it gets a tad more gothic once you get inside. And we aren't talking about the architecture. The Calgary Herald has reported several resident ghosts, including a bride who supposedly fell down the stone staircase during her wedding. But there's a less tragic spirit too. Sam the Bellman, who worked at the hotel until 1975 and claimed he'd come back to haunt the joint. He probably said that as he was quitting. He was like, I'm gonna come back and haunt y'all. His spirit supposedly pulls shifts, helping people with their bags before disappearing. Now that is a nice guy. <laughs> I like Sam. Eastern State Penitentiary from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now that place I have heard is very spooky. The castle-like Eastern State Penitentiary took solitary confinement to new levels when it was built in 1829. Prisoners lived alone, exercised alone, and ate alone. When an inmate left his cell, a guard would cover his head with a hood so he couldn't see or be seen. The prison had to abandon its solitary system due to overcrowding in 1913, although the forms of punishment did not get any less severe. Chaining an inmate's tongue to his wrist is one example. Before it closed for good in 1970, the site now welcomes thousands of visitors every year, both for its museum and Halloween celebrations. Reported paranormal happenings have included disembodied laughter, shadowy figures, and pacing footsteps. That sounds terrible. Who would get sent to this prison? Charles Manson? Oh dang. <laughs> Why do all of these have to be so complicated when they spell them? Okay, it's Bangar Fort, India. I think that's it, Bangar Fort. Located just 100 miles southwest of Delhi, the lush ruins of Bangar Fort make for a curious juxtaposition against the desert landscape of Rajasthan. To this day, the oasis remains largely uninhabited due to an alleged curse cast by a disgruntled sorcerer after his advances were rebuffed by a local princess. Really? You get rejected and you take it out on the world? If you prefer your trips to skew more spiritual than haunted, Traveler's former editor-at-large, Hanya Yanagir... Yana Gahara suggests saluting the sun during a session of pre-dusk yoga at the site. Yeah, I still wouldn't go there. Someone cursed the place because he got rejected. He was obviously angry. 
So it's not a it's not a nice curse. Chateau de Brizac, Brizac Quince, France. I just butchered that. I know it. I'm sorry. Anyways, there's this, you know, castle in France that's haunted. One of the tallest castles in all of France, the seven-story Chateau de Brizac is perhaps best known as the home of the Green Lady, aka the ghost of Charlotte of France. The Chateau's website tells the legend of Charlotte, the illegitimate daughter of King Charles, who was murdered by her husband after he discovered her having an affair. Named for the color of her dress when she was killed, the Green Lady can be found roaming the chapel's tower room and moaning in the early hours of the morning. Aww, poor lady. <laughs> well, that sucks. I wanna go say hi to her. I wanna play cards with her, keep her some company. She's probably lonely. Stanley Hotel, Estes Park of Colorado? Am I right? <laughs> okay, at least I could, you know, kinda pronounce everything. The Stanley Hotel's stately Georgian architecture and world-renowned whiskey bar have lured travelers to Estes Park since opening in 1909, but the hotel reached new levels of fame after inspiring Stephen King to create The Shining's fictional Overlook Hotel. That's where he made the book? Oh my gosh! That eerie association aside, many other ghost sightings and some mysterious piano music have been connected to the hotel and the Stanley Hotel leans into its reputation with nightly ghost tours and psychic consultations from the in-house Madame Vera. Now that is cool. <laughs> I wanna go to this hotel. That's where Stephen King wrote The Shining? Wow, he must have been very inspired. Okay, this is gonna be bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> La Recoleta Cemetery, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Did I kinda get it? That's some pretty architecture though. You don't have to be religious to be moved by La Recoleta Cemetery, which features thousands of statues, mausoleums, fairy tale grottos, and intricate tombstones, as well as the remains of Argentina's most iconic figure, Eva Peron. The stone walkways and labyrinth of mausoleums are as beautiful as they are eerie. And this place has a couple haunted legends of its own. One of the most famous stories involves David Alino, a former grave digger and caretaker who worked at the cemetery for 30 years before killing himself? Today, people report hearing Alino's keys jingling as his ghost walks the pathways at dawn. Aww. Why are these so sad? No wonder they haunt you. They're, they're upset. They didn't go peacefully. I kind of want to see this place. They say it's so pretty. And it doesn't sound like this guy's violent. He doesn't try to hurt visitors. There, look at me going to try and investigate. I suck. <laughs> Tower of London in England. Ooh, what's, what's going on there? <laughs> Built by William the Conqueror in 1066. Wow, that's a while ago. This uncompromising fortress has had many functions, but it's best known for its bloody history as a prison and execution site. Henry the, wow, I'm not smart. Henry the VIII -I -I famously ordered the execution of two of his wives, Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard. It's also where two young princes were imprisoned after the death of their father, King Edward. They disappeared shortly after 1483, and their remains weren't found until 1647. Unsurprisingly, ghost stories of the tower's victims and ghost tours through historic royal palaces abound. Dang, all these castles have such dark stories. Just don't go there, you'll get lost anyways. There's so many dang rooms, and they don't even use all of them. Uh, Yazirat Alhamra, United Arab Emirates. Did I get it? <laughs> You'll find the nearly abandoned town of Yazarat Al Hamra about 14 miles southeast of Ra Al Kaima. Is it Al Kaima? Ah, there it is, of Ra Al Kaima in northern UAE. Located between a huge mall and a huge water park. Established in the 14th century, the town grew into a thriving pearl fishing village in the 1830s before it was suddenly abandoned in 1968. The town now consists of dirt roads, 13 mosques, and more than 300 coral and mud houses. And of course, some resident spirits. People claim that visitors are bound to experience strange noises and chilling apparitions, usually genies in the form of animals. That's a little creepy. <laughs> 
I mean, it doesn't sound too bad. It's just, if an animal spirit comes up and starts talking, I'm gonna be a little, you know, surprised. St. Augustine Lighthouse, Florida. A lighthouse? Mmm, I can guess what's gonna happen. The St. Augustine Lighthouse is visited by nearly 225,000 people annually, but it's just as well for its otherworldly visitors. Otherworldly? What? Several tragic events have occurred at this now historic site. Several tragic events that occurred at this now historic site have contributed to the alleged paranormal activity. The ghost of a lighthouse keeper who fell to his death while painting the tower has been spotted watching over the grounds. And ever since the horrific death of three young girls who drowned when the cart they were playing in broke and fell in the ocean, visitors have claimed to hear the sounds of children playing in and around the lighthouse. That's so depressing! Three little girls that were just playing around and some dude just doing his job! Aww. That's so sad. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. Dang, these places are haunted by very sad spirits. I'm depressed now, <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, just don't go visit these places, they're haunted and some of these spirits are obviously not happy. But yeah, be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe. <laughs> if you liked the video, I hope you did, please like and share it. And if you wanna hear about some more haunted places in the world, let me know in the comments and we will do a part two. I'll try to do it next week. I'm pretty sure I can, but yeah, just let me know. But yeah, that's it for today. And oh, be sure to comment below if you want me to do even more scary videos. Like if you want me to do a whole week of nothing but scary videos, especially with Halloween coming up, let me know and I will be happy to do them. But yeah, that's it. So I will see you beautiful people next time.